Tonight we are hearing from the Artemis 2 crew set to fly around the moon early next year. It is a test mission meant to help better prepare future trips to both the moon and Mars. NASA has spent much of this week showing us behind the scenes at Johnson Space Center. Here's Jason Miles with more. Victor, Christina, Jeremy. We're going to the moon. <laughs> like <laughs> Two years after we first met the Artemis II crew, the four-person team updated us on the historic mission, preliminarily set to launch as early as next February, when they'll venture some 600,000 miles around the moon and back. And our mission success is built on handing off a starting point to Artemis III that, that sets our country and our partners up to go back to the surface of the moon. And so I just think about legacy uh, and the honor and privilege it is to, to be a part of this. The crew has spent the last couple of years rigorously training, including inside Orion's simulators, while naming the actual spacecraft Integrity, a capsule from which they could see parts of the moon never seen before. And believe it or not, human eyes are one of the best scientific instruments that we have. While the crew works up in space, flight controllers and others will be grounded here in the Artemis II mission control. That's where they'll, among other things, keep in close contact with the crew and monitor spacecraft data from the launch on 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust to their return days later at 30 times the speed of sound. We know that Artemis II is not the solution for humanity on planet Earth, but it is a contribution in the positive column. We hope that just for a moment that people will pause and say, wow. My colleague Jacob Rascone spoke one-on-one -on -one with mission commander Reed Wiseman. Just unlocking, going far, unlocking those mysteries, making everything seem possible. That is what we hope to inspire. Is that why you do this, commander? At the end of the day, we are humans, we are explorers, and we want to do the things that no one has ever done before. At Johnson Space Center, Jason Miles, KHOU 11 News.